Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, you all are not going to believe what just crossed my desk. Princess Anne, our beloved Princess Royal, you know, the one who actually understands what duty means, has finally spoken up about the Sussex situation. And let me tell you, my dear friends and royal watchers, this is absolutely explosive. Now grab your tea, settle in, because we need to talk about this. Our straight-talking, no-nonsense Princess Anne has done what we've all been waiting for. She's urged King Charles to take action about Harry's royal titles. And isn't it about time? I mean, really. Let me be real with you all for a moment. When I first read this news, I literally gasped. Princess Anne rarely speaks out about family matters. So when she does, you know it's serious. This is the woman who's completed thousands of royal engagements without complaint, who chose not to give her own children titles because she understood the weight of royal responsibility. She gets it. She truly gets it. You see, my lovely viewers, Princess Anne has always been the quiet force within the royal family. While certain attention-seeking individuals were busy running to American media outlets and throwing their family under the bus, Anne was doing what royals should do, working tirelessly for the British people. No drama, no complaints, just pure dedication. And now she's concerned about what's happening with these Sussex titles. Can we blame her? Here we have Harry, who's abandoned his royal duties, moved to Montecito, and seems to spend his time being pulled around by the nose by his puppet master. Sorry, but we all see it, don't we? While our beloved Prince and Princess of Wales are out there working their socks off, representing our nation with such grace and dignity, what are the Sussexes doing, making Netflix shows and whining about their privileged lives? Let me share something personal with you all. I've been following the royal family for decades, and I've never seen anything quite like this. The way Harry has transformed from our cherished prince, the one we all loved, into this unrecognizable figure. It breaks my heart. It really does. And we all know who's behind this transformation, don't we? Princess Anne sees what we all see. She understands that titles aren't just fancy words you can slap on your Netflix deals or book covers. They represent duty, heritage, and service to the British people. They're not meant to be used as Hollywood calling cards or marketing tools for commercial ventures. And let's talk about what's really going on here. We have William and Catherine, absolute treasures, working their hearts out, raising their beautiful children with proper values, showing up day after day with those gorgeous smiles, actually serving the people. They understand what it means to be royal. They get that it's not about them. It's about the institution, the country, the people. Meanwhile, across the pond, we have this other couple. Dramatic pause. Well, we all know what they're up to, don't we? Living in their mansion, crying about privacy while calling the paparazzi on themselves, making deals left and right while throwing mud at the family that gave them everything. The audacity, I tell you. You know what really gets me? The way Harry has allowed himself to be completely transformed. Remember our Harry? The cheeky, loving prince who used to make us all laugh? The soldier who served his country proudly? The young man who had such a special bond with William? Where is that Harry now? It's like he's been replaced by some sort of California smoothie-drinking, podcast-making shadow of himself. And Princess Anne sees this. Of course she does. This is a woman who's dedicated her entire life to service. She watches as her beloved nephew, once such a promising royal, has been led astray by, well, we all know who, that woman who walked into our royal family with her guests, as you know, her acting skills and her big plans, thinking she could modernize a thousand-year-old institution in five minutes flat. Let me tell you something funny. Remember when certain people claimed they wanted privacy? Raise his eyebrows. How's that working out? Because from where I'm sitting, it looks like they've never been more publicly attention-seeking in their lives. The constant press releases, the staged photos, the carefully crafted, candid moments. It's exhausting, isn't it? But here's what really matters about Princess Anne speaking up. It shows that even the most diplomatic members of the royal family have reached their limit. 
when someone as dignified and reserved as the Princess Royal feels compelled to express concern about Harry's titles, you know things have gone too far. And King Charles, oh, my heart goes out to him. Imagine being in his position, trying to balance being a father with being a monarch. How do you handle a son who's chosen to turn his back on everything you stand for? Everything you've prepared him for his entire life. And worse, who keeps taking pot shots at the family from across the ocean? But let's be honest, we all know who the real puppet master is in this situation. The same person who walked into our beloved royal family thinking she could use it as a stepping stone to greater fame. The same person who couldn't handle that she wasn't the star of the show when Catherine was clearly the one destined to be our future queen. Oh, and don't even get me started on the way they've treated Catherine, our beautiful, graceful future queen who has done nothing but serve with dignity and raise her children to understand their heritage. The constant attempts to overshadow her announcements, the subtle digs, the not-so-subtle accusations, it's transparent and it's pathetic. You know what really shows the difference? When Catherine steps out, She's working, actually working, meeting people, supporting causes, making a real difference, not just posting on Instagram or releasing PR statements about their private charity work. The contrast couldn't be clearer. And William, oh, William, the way he's had to watch his brother transform into this, this shell of himself, the way he's had to maintain dignity and silence while his own brother throws him under the bus for Netflix dollars. It must be heartbreaking, but look at how he carries himself. That's what real royalty looks like. Princess Anne understands something crucial. Titles aren't just birthright privileges. They come with responsibilities, with duties, with obligations to the British people. If you're not fulfilling those duties, if you're actually working against the institution you're supposed to represent, then why should you keep the titles? Let me share a little secret with you all. I've heard from sources close to the palace, and you know I have my sources, that Princess Anne has been concerned about this for quite some time. She's watched quietly as the situation has deteriorated. She's seen the damage being done to the institution she's served so faithfully all her life. And now, finally, she's speaking up. This isn't just some random royal commentary. This is Princess Anne, the Princess Royal, the hardest working royal saying enough is enough. When someone like her takes a stand, we need to pay attention. You know what's, what's fascinating? The timing of all this. Just as certain people seem to be running out of Netflix content and struggling to stay relevant, suddenly there's more drama, more stories, more attempts to stay in the spotlight. Coincidence? I think not. And let's talk about duty for a moment. Real duty. Not the kind where you pop up for a photo op when it suits you, but the kind Princess Anne exemplifies. The kind where you show up day after day, rain or shine, whether the cameras are there or not. The kind William and Catherine demonstrate every single day. Remember when certain people claimed they wanted to be half in, half out of the royal family? Laughs, as if the monarchy is some kind of part-time job you can do from California between juice cleanses and yoga sessions. Princess Anne understands what these two clearly don't, that being royal is a full-time commitment to service. The contrast between how Princess Anne has conducted herself throughout her life and how certain others have behaved couldn't be more stark. She chose not to give her children titles because she understood the responsibility that comes with them. Meanwhile, others throw tantrums about titles for their children while simultaneously trashing the very institution those titles come from. And here's something that really makes me laugh. Remember all those claims about wanting to be financially independent? Raises eyebrows significantly. Well, they seem pretty happy to keep their titles to make those Hollywood deals, don't they? Using the Duke and Duchess titles to sell themselves while simultaneously attacking the family that gave them those titles. The hypocrisy is stunning. Let's be real here. We all know why they're keeping those titles. They're the only thing giving them any relevance in Hollywood. Without them, what are they? A minor actress from a cable TV show and a man who seems to have forgotten everything about who he used to be. Princess Anne's intervention shows just how serious this situation has become. When someone who's traditionally stayed out of family drama feels compelled to speak up, 
You know things have reached a critical point. And she's right. King Charles needs to take action. But here's the really sad part. Think about what this is doing to our beloved royal family. Think about the queen's legacy. She dedicated her entire life to service, to duty, to maintaining the dignity of the monarchy. And now, less than two years after her passing, we have this, this circus. William and Catherine are working so hard to carry on that legacy. Every time they step out, they embody everything the monarchy should be. Dignified, dedicated, devoted to service. They're raising their children to understand their responsibilities, to be proud of their heritage while remaining humble about their privileges. Meanwhile, across the pond, well, we all see what's happening there. The constant PR stunts, the playing victim while living in a mansion, the attempts to monetize every aspect of their royal connections while simultaneously complaining about the institution. It's exhausting, isn't it? And let's talk about the impact on the children, all the children involved. William and Catherine's children are being raised to understand their roles, their heritage, their future responsibilities. They're being given a proper foundation in what it means to be royal. Meanwhile, other children are being raised in this bizarre half-in, half-out world where their parents use their royal connections when it suits them, but trash the institution at every other opportunity. Princess Anne sees all of this. Of course she does. She's watching the institution she's served faithfully all her life being used as a punch bag by two people who seem to care only about their own publicity. No wonder she's speaking up. You know what I find really interesting? The way certain people seem to time their drama for maximum impact. Whenever William and Catherine have something important happening, suddenly there's some new revelation, some new complaint, some new attention-seeking behavior from across the pond. It's so transparent, isn't it? But here's what gives me hope. The British public isn't fooled. We see through it all. We see who's actually working for the good of the country and who's working for their own benefit. We see who understands duty and who's just using their titles for profit. Princess Anne's intervention is a wake-up call. It's time for action. It's time to stop letting people profit from titles they're not earning. It's time to protect the institution from those who seem intent on damaging it for their own gain. And let me tell you something. I believe King Charles will act. He has to. He's watching the institution his mother protected so carefully being used as a cash cow by his own son and daughter-in-law. That has to stop. So my dear viewers, what do you think? Should King Charles listen to Princess Anne? Should those who've abandoned their duties be allowed to keep profiting from their titles? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more royal updates and honest discussions like this one. Remember, we're watching history in the making here. The monarchy is at a crossroads, and decisions made now will affect its future for generations to come. Princess Anne understands this. William and Catherine understand this. It's time for others to either step up or step aside. Thank you all for joining me for this chat. You know I always tell it like it is, and this situation deserves nothing less than complete honesty. Stay tuned for more updates, and God save the king and the real working royals who actually deserve their titles. Until then, folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.